Hello everyone and welcome to Case Quote. Today we're going to be talking about the Indian T20 squad, except we're going to be talking about the players who didn't make it. Um, so, how do you feel about this Ghost Eleven that we're going to be uh, making of this? Some pretty uh, big names in here. Frankly, I mean, like Indian cricket team has, you know, the Indian cricket team is that vast and like you know that filled with talent that you're going to have like a bunch of players that keep missing out on. Uh, every icc tournament but you know it's it's always interesting to dissect and see you know like uh, in hindsight how many of these guys uh, might have performed in case somebody didn't step up so uh, let's see it's going to be an interesting dive yeah, yeah. and in fact um, there were so many questions to answer that uh, rohit sharma and aditya galkar had to give a press conference and talk about why they had to make certain decisions and um, when they made those clarifications i think a lot of a lot of their decisions started to make a lot more sense, sense yeah uh, um so i think maybe except barring one but we'll get to that uh, yeah you are entitled to your opinion but um i think the biggest question everyone had was why kl rahul was not um uh, okay of course rinku singh and kl rahul those were the two uh juiciest pieces of conversation around the announcement uh and uh, in that conference um when they were asked about why kl rahul did not make it to the 11 yeah. i think uh Rohit Sharma rambled about uh, point lightly for a bit, but uh, Agarkar had something very uh, constructive to say. I would say more well-reasoned argument. Mm. And, um, yeah, he he mentioned that uh, you know like uh, Rahul in the current uh, IPL, like it, it it wasn't about the game he was playing because he was playing you know he was playing much more aggressively than he usually was. But uh, India's opener spots were like were locked in. pretty much you can't uh, keep yashasvi jaiswal out not solely because he's a left hander but he's been having like some pretty good knocks uh, bad start to the ipl but still he's got a a century um so yeah like and rohit sharma obviously you are not going to bench you your your captain is best position is opening so i guess that's probably where kl rahul's approach to the ipl could have been different uh, you know there were rumors about him playing a little bit lower down the order coming in in the middle I guess if he might have gone with that approach I don't know if he had scored if he would have scored the number of runs that he did end up doing but uh, yeah yeah it's uh, food for thought for okay. KL yeah. yeah and uh, when when asked about this uh, Agarkar's response was pretty clear like you mentioned right mm-hmm. KL Rahul is a top order batsman is not um, and everybody assumed that uh, KL Rahul was fighting for a spot uh, for the wicket keeper spot but um Sanju Samson and Rishabh Pant are both uh middle order batsmen who also keep and uh, K R Rahul making it to the top four was really difficult mm-hmm. as you said uh you have uh, Rohit Sharma you have Yashasvi Jaiswal you have Virat, Virat Kohli uh, and none of these players are going to go anywhere outside of their uh, of these uh, positions in the batting order so where does he play the thing about like yeah that playing 11 again controversial take but the thing that really grinds my gears is like if you know uh Rishabh Pant, if he's not going to play, and then the only reason you can justify uh, keep, keeping KL Rahul out of that squad is yes, Sanju Samson is the better batsman currently in T20, so you have to keep Samson in squad. But if Rishabh Pant is not going to play a lot of games, then like yeah, if you know, was it really necessary to keep KL out of the squad? Because I feel like he's a more certified match winner, you know, currently. Uh, Rishabh Pant is just coming out of a major surgery. So good IPL, but still, like, yeah, if if that's the case. No, but I think the question in that case is, do you want KL Rahul batting at number five? Hmm. Because if Sanju Samson happens to get injured, you have Rishabh Pant coming in, who definitely can can slot in that position. Yeah, that's actually that's a so, fair option. So yeah. it it was really a batting order problem rather than is KL Rahul good enough a better, to be in the mm-hmm. squad, right? Um, then you have. Um, Shubman Gill and Ruthwad Kekwad, who two players that uh, were in contention, but obviously not going to be good enough to make the main squad. Um, it's like uh, I guess I guess <clears throat> Shubman Gill's uh, position currently in the Indian national team, like up until the World Cup, he was opening with uh, Rohit Sharma, but now like with uh, Yashasvi and the great streak he's on, you can't. And as as a left hander, that's a great combination to have. Uh, you know. Barring Kishan, we didn't really have a lot of you know good left-handers who could open the innings with Rohit Sharma, and now we have to go back Yashasvi Jaiswal, a great young talent. So Shubman Gill then has to play like in the middle order, like 
in the top order like i can't see him playing anywhere in the middle so then if he realistically same as kl exactly yes he, he has no place in the top in the top three um so rinku singh would have been ideally a great finisher for the team yeah um another finisher that's been left behind although so really surprising is uh, dinesh karthik so dinesh karthik yeah he's been having a, a bright of a season for the royal challengers bangalore but i guess we have to take a lot of factors into consideration he's played a good number of his games at the chinna swami stadium which as uh, we've spoken about before uh, is a graveyard for the bowler so he's uh, and he's targeting a lot of I mean, can't really say he's targeting a lot of loose balls, but yeah, yeah, bad balls. He's dispatching. He's been great for them. Um, even Rohit Sharma was joking, you know, uh, when uh, DK was absolutely smashing the Mumbai bowlers. Like, yeah, if you want to be a part of the T20 World Cup squad, and you know, friendly banter. But I see DK having a good time in the commentary box during the World Cup. Uh, and the last time we took him to the to a World Cup in Australia, things did not really things went really badly. So, you know. Fair enough, but you know, so one thing that's pretty upsetting for me about this uh, World Cup squad is that we don't have a single player from uh, Tamil Nadu. Like I said earlier, uh, Nick A was our one hope, but I don't think that was entirely true. We had uh, Natarajan as well, who was having an amazing sen- uh, season with uh, Sardar. Yes, Sardar, Sardar. I mean, yeah, I think since like all T Twenty World Cups, we've had a Tamil Nadu player, and. Uh, in the very first one as well we had uh, dinesh karthik and he was like very instrumental in the boys uh, lifting the cup so again unfortunate co- coincidence um you know badrinath had the statement uh, which i don't know did seem a little little bit controversial to me but yeah like seeing how tamil nadu players get selected for the national team it may ring a little true where he said uh, uh, tn players have to perform like twice as hard as uh, you know like other state players uh, in order to prove themselves for the uh, national team or for a major world cup uh, you know spot so there perhaps is some truth to that uh, cuz uh, you know consistently consistently we've been presenting people for the t20 world cups uh, so yeah i don't know it's a little dicey to say that uh, one of them should have been this in this uh, I, I don't think i'm i don't think anyone suggesting that a tamil nadu player should have been in the squad it's just that there isn't one hmm. but we can take heart uh, with you know some south indian player at least making it yeah yeah definitely yeah now since we are south indians i think um we like the idea of south indian players being a part of the world cup mm, but definitely. since we've got very few i think let's take all the players who didn't go okay. and make a south indian 11 um that we would we would like to see play cool cool, cool. so um starting off with kl rahul and sai sudarshan at the top both of them are having an, an amazing season yeah yeah um and good left hand right hand combination to have in any playing 11 so yep big yeah. thumbs up yeah and then devdat padikal devdat padikal again yeah uh, a little bit if he uh, this season alone but again he's proved uh, with the royal challengers bangalore it's just about where you put him in the team and uh, you know if given the chance to flourish i think he could have a really good limited overs career he's proved himself uh, in first class cricket so yeah yeah He is a good addition to have, and I think proving yourself at RCB is a challenge in itself. So yeah, credit to him. Yeah. Um, then you got Tilak Varma. Tilak Varma again, a uh, great super. You have to have him uh, in this team. You have to have him in the Indian squad at at some point in the near future. Uh, I believe, like yeah, uh, Rohit Sharma at one point said, uh, and this was quite early in Tilak Varma's IPL career that uh, Tilak is a player that they see uh, as an all format player at some point. Uh, for team india so yeah you know i mean and and he has been mi's best player uh by a long long no. way this season and since we see like multiple mi players in the indian squad heading to the caribbean was a little bit of a head scratcher uh, how yeah. to make it but i guess good for the national team and i think everybody feels he's mi's best player except yeah. the captain of the mumbai indians which is in yes yeah his captain and vice captain which is now his vice captain and his captain yeah have, so little uh, screwed him over <laughs> he'll have his time he'll have his time definitely yeah. um what do you think about vishnu vinod vishnu vinod yeah yeah he's this uh, young lad uh, sorry yeah not very young but uh, you know mumbai indians have uh, you know put their faith in uh, in him for a couple of seasons this season unfortunately he is injured but uh, you know he can turn up with a bat uh, on his day he has a century uh, in the sayed mustaq ali trophy last year as well so 
Vishnu and Oth, yeah, yeah, again, time is not really on his side, but, uh, you know, again, a good player to have uh, you know, for Team India, maybe in some bilateral series. All right. Um, well, I think Dinesh Karthik is a no-brainer. You'll need a good wicketkeeper, a good finisher. Good finisher, yeah. Um, sorry, K.L. Rahul, you're not going to be keeping this time either. So you've got Manoj Bhandagi. I'm tempted to say bandage because it's a lot easier. But, uh, yeah. Uh, All-rounder from Karnataka. Karnataka. Yeah, Manoj, uh, not want to say his last name, but he's a promising talent as well. You know, he's a handy all-rounder. On his day, you know, he's that, uh, what said the selectors in 2019 would have said, a three-dimensional player, so the likes of Vijay Shankar. So, again, he's a good option to have. I can yeah, maybe see him in this. So, he's like a quick fix in a bad situation. Like, you know, just sort of, a yeah. bandage over it. Your bits and pieces guy who could come in clutch when you least expect it. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got uh, Sai, Sai Kishore. So oh, of he's, course. He's um, Tamil Nadu team skipper. It'll be yeah. nice to see him in a World Cup as well. And yeah, uh, Sai Kishore again, a great uh, lower order batsman as well. He can uh, whack a few uh, on yeah on any given day, and uh, you know, great with the ball as well. Gives that uh, you know uh, left arm spin option that uh, this left arm spin option that this team is. Uh, Country lacking, so yeah, you know, I can see him uh, partnering up with uh, the other spinner in the team, and they could wreak all sorts of havoc. So, yeah, gotta have RSK there. RSK, RSK, yeah, yeah. All right. And then you've got Varun Chakravarti, the mystery spinner. Hmm. So, what do you think about him? Yeah, Varun Chakravarti, he had a good stint uh, with in India in the 2021 uh, T20 World Cup. So. Again, like he's tried and tested, uh, proven. Um, the guy can like make it spin in all sorts of ways. He has good variations as well, which is a very underrated thing uh, that we don't give spinners enough uh, credit for. So, you know, he can bowl the off, he can bowl the leggy. So, uh, Varun Chakravarti and in a pitch like the Eden Gardens, which has been like, you know, uh, very notorious this season for leaking runs. He's been keeping things under control as, uh, you know, one of KKR's best spinners. So, yeah, yeah. got to give him the nod for that. Um, uh, now as we get to uh, the Pacers, uh, it's a it's pretty surprising. We've got some really good candidates here. We've got Prasid Krishna, who's, who's done a really good job uh, in the KPL as well. Hmm. Prasid Krishna, yeah, yeah. Um, again, past two IPLs, he's been uh, injured for a lot of this IPL. He's been completely ruled out. I think uh, a very similar issue happened the previous IPL as well. So, T Twenty wise, he hasn't been playing a lot of cricket, but again. Uh, for the Indian Test side, he's been he's been really good. Like consistently, he's able to hit those uh, hard lines and lengths and keep batsmen, you know, guessing all the all, all the while. So in uh, uh, 50 overs, also I guess he isn't he really isn't that proven. But uh, you know, if he can just translate those skills, if he can just work on his fitness a little bit, uh, I know as a tall uh, pacer, it's it's very difficult, like you know, to be uh, to stay like really fit all the time and to prevent yourself from getting a lot of injuries, but yeah, Prasad Krishna, you know, if he's just able to work on those tiny aspects and translate that talent into limited overs cricket, you could see like another future, you know, Indian great pace bowler. So, so uh, Nataraj, some, uh, somebody who arguably uh, could have had a place in, in the squad going to the Caribbean yeah. in the US this time. Uh, what do you think about him? So, um, again, that's a decision that really has me scratching my head because... The, I feel currently, again, hot take, but uh, the only thing Arsteep has going for him as India's premier left-arm pacer is uh, is youth. So, uh, the other pacer that they decided to go with, uh, left-arm pacer, in the reserves is Khalil Ahmed. And if you stack up Natu's stats with both of them, uh, Natarajan, I, I think he has the same number of wickets as uh, Arsteep. They're both at, both at 13, but he's doing it at a way better economy than Arsteep and he's better, at, better than him in all phases of the game. So, if, again... Age is probably not on his side. If that's the thing, you should have at least had him in the reserve squad. His main concern is that he's injury, you know, uh, he gets injured a lot. But yeah, yeah, should have been ahead of uh, Arshdeep, I feel. Hot take. Or at least ahead of Khalil. You should have at least mm-hmm. given him that concentration. But yeah. Mm-hmm. There's, a, there's a few other names which I'm not going to talk too much about because we've already, uh, my producer is screaming at me for extending this. Uh, well, but um, yeah, I think we've got we've got a team that can at least uh, you know uh, get out of the group stages. Yeah, yeah. Like, Hardik Pandya infamously said 
that india ha- has enough talent for a team a and a team b to do great at like all world world cups tournaments etc and that tone that since he said that statement like yeah things have not been going great for the indian national team but i guess we proven that but, but i think he just said that because he wants to be captain so bad and rohit sharma is just always in his way and i'm not sure neeta bhabhi has the bandwidth to help him on the national side i i have no comment on on that part <laughs> but yeah okay um let's say no is it fine? okay oh, um so we'll quickly touch up on some of the other squads as well um australia we've got uh not shockers per se but a few mild surprises hmm. jake fraser mugger is having an excellent season and he's not made it to the squad um steve smith doesn't make it uh neither does berendorf uh then neither does matt short so what do you think about these misses yeah i mean um matt short especially like you know a very uh, peculiar miss i think cuz uh, he's been great in the big bash league for the last two years he's been there uh, he's been the uh, he's been among the heavy hitters over there he's been top scorer of the bbl for two years um again i think there's a disparity between australian pitches and indian pitches which is why he hasn't found a spot uh, in the ipl but again i i feel like matchshot is a good option to have even in your uh, you know re- reserves uh, something like that so again hope they don't uh, miss that decision but you have travis head and david warner who who are going to be opening the innings for the australians so yeah uh, unfortunately with that amount of experience and that amount of firepower jake fraser magog uh, has not made the cut which i think is a very smart decision which will mash came out and even though he acknowledged the fact that jake fraser magog is not going to the world cup because uh, they have heady and and uh, wander who have been great for the australian team so maybe the next time uh, definitely even mash said kid has a bright future so yeah looking forward to it looks like jake and matt both fell short and um let's talk about england as well hmm. um so ben stokes missing um is that is that really uh, a surprise ben stokes i think is just tired of of winning <laughs> I, i i honestly he uh, you know he rested himself from this world cup because he already has a t20 world cup he has an odi world cup the guy really just wants to win the world test championship that is not going to happen in this cycle just because england are on like yeah they are at the bottom of the table so i think he really wants to focus just on test cricket and prove himself as one of the goats so smart decision there are a lot of and explains why he took 16 and a half crores from chennai and just bowled one over before he left yeah um mm-hmm. finally uh we don't have that much time to discuss the new zealand squad but i think the way they announced it was amazing uh they one up themselves from the last announcement uh when the yep. players wives came and announced the squad and this year that children have come in and it's uh, it's it's a nice take very also an evolving game right thank you for watching and uh, me and dk will be back every now and then to bring you some updates on the upcoming t20 world cup so if there's any kind of uh, stories that you would like to like us to investigate let us know and um yeah you have anything else to say Thank you so much for watching and keep coming back to K Sports for more cricketing content.